Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yes, I received a phone a message to call this number about my Social Security legal activities. Uh, it's a voice message or it's a phone call? It was a voicemail. All right. It was on my machine. So did you receive? So did you receive any uh like any case ID number or no. reference ID number? No. no okay. I didn't hear none. So in that case. In that case, can you help me with your first name and last name, so I can go ahead and pull out your file? Yes, my first name is Felix, F-E-L-I-X. Last name? D-C-A-T, D-E-K-A-T-T. And what is your current social? My current social is 86 Barely hear you. Come, come back again. Back again, it's zero eight six one zero one four six three. It's I got it. It's zero eight six one zero. The last four. One four six three. Okay. All right. Just bear with me. Let me pull out your files. Okay. Thank you. All right. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. As I'm giving the call, as, a, as the, the call was given to you regarding a case of misusing identity okay so in the state of Texas uh, okay. that's where the call was made to you for the verification purpose have you ever been to the state of Texas Texas no I've never been to Texas and okay and from which state you got your social New York State bear with me the state uh, it's a New York right the year do you remember the year 1950 okay got it sir I see here okay so now let me go ahead and give you the information regarding this case file so i'll highly appreciate you if you do not interrupt me while i'm giving the information once i have done with the information if you have any question you can ask me i'll give you fair options all right okay so and let me inform you that which line we are talking right now as a federal monitor record line so you have to be very honest so i gotta be one i'm sorry i didn't hear you you have Sir, which line we are talking right now as a federal monitor recorded line. Okay. So through the recorded line, so you have to be very honest with the officer. Okay, and I will these be. Questions. I will be very honest. Okay. Okay. I appreciate it. Now, and from which state you got your social card? New York State. It's the Empire New State. York. The Empire ha State. Have you, have you ever lost your social card anywhere? No. Never lost my social card. Driver license? Driver's like no, nope, never lost nothing. Okay, and you never been to the state of state of Texas, right? Like recently or last year? Never. Never in my whole life. And recently, have you ever been to the, any other states? Any other states? Yeah, I was down in New Jersey there last week. Last week. Okay. Yeah. So because, as I can see here, the call was given to you regarding a case of misusing identity. And why I'm asking you these questions because we are taking this issue to the FBI headquarters as we are having a strong evidence better enough to prove me guilty in the house. Prove me guilty of what, so sir? That, prove me guilty? What sir, are you talking about? Let me explain you, okay? Okay, the explain it, but how found, can you say you prove me guilty? I don't even know what you're saying I did. Okay, let me explain you. Okay, During explain the investigation, me. we are found... During the investigation, we have found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas in the city of El Paso. And um, after the investigation, okay. we found that... So, while okay. I'm giving the information, make oh, sure oh. that do not interrupt me. Okay. All right? So, during the investigation, we have found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas in the city of El Paso. And hence, after investigation, we found that the car was rented under your name under your social information. Well, I'm not so in Texas. So have you ever rented a car? So have you ever rented a car under well, your well, name? Of course I have. Everybody's rented a car at one time or another. So, and, and some documentation, financial institutes such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo Bank, Chase Bank, TT Bank, and many other banks. And you're saying that you've never been to the state of Texas, right? Yes, for the fourth time, I've never been to Texas. And does anyone access your social number? No. Your family members, your friends, anyone? Why would I give my friends my social security number? No, they don't have it. No. 
like your online are you uh, like in your online applications have you ever shared I put it on Twitter once but that was because it. see sir uh, some financial institute such as Chase Bank Bank of America US Bank Wells Fargo Bank Chase Bank TD Bank and many other banks etc and this entire paper work has your name on on your name on it and thousands of dollars has been wired from those bank accounts locally and internationally so sir like as you're saying that you never be, uh, you never lost your social card, your driver license. So do you suspect to anyone who can use your information and doing this kind of crime? Uh, my neighbor, I don't trust him too much. But how would he get my social security number? Igor, no, no, no. Igor Yakmiyap. Igor Yakmiyap lives sir, down the street. He's a Russian guy. I don't trust him at all. Sir, okay. So first of all. See, as we don't know who is your culprit, it might be from your family members, sorry to say that, oh, your relatives, your friends, be, yeah. your neighbors, my your neighbor, person. yeah, my neighbor, as I don't, don't trust that Igor, culprit. Igor yak me off down the street, Russian guy. You were right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And, sir, in this point of time, uh, like, what is your concern regarding this case file? And do you have any, uh, like, so what do you want to say, sir? What is your concern? And My all, concern? All this recorded line... Yes, sir, because this record line we are going to prove inside the courthouse. So what do you want to say? What do I want to say about What is your what? concern? My concern? My concern is Igor Yakmiyov could have done it. I didn't do it. Pardon me? I did not do anything wrong. So you are saying that you are not doing this kind of fortunate activities? Well, that's what I'm saying. And, sir, we are also... Hmm. Sir, we what? have also checked your past records. Right. Let me finish my part. Okay, you do your part. We have also checked your past. We have also checked your past records, and we are found that you are a genuine person. Your social has no other complaint in the past. That's no. the reason we try to reach you today. That one time I shot and the man in Reno, time, but that didn't count. Because uh, okay, in this point of ago, time, sir, I shot him just to watch. Him okay. Die. All right. So in this point of time, sir, we, in this point of time, I would like to inform you that we are not saying that you are doing this kind of crime. That's as good. part investigation, as part, as part investigation, as part the government, you are the primary suspected person. You just said I, You just said you knew. Whoa, whoa! You just said it wasn't me, and now I'm the primary suspect. How can I be not doing it and go to because, the primary sir, suspect? I don't because, understand how you how this because, government works. Because, sir, your information has been involved in that case. The culprit who has opened up several bank accounts well, and several it, credit cards under your name. But you said it wasn't because me. Because your... We know... We have also checked your past records, sir. And we came to know that your past records are neat and clean. You are the innocent Except person. Except for that one time That's in Reno. That's we try to reach you today. Right. Okay. Okay. So... All right. All right. So I believe you are willing to cooperate <coughs> with the federal officer in order to clear out your name. From these fortunate activities, am I correct? I suppose so. I don't know what I got to do, but yeah. Sir, I believe you are willing to cooperate with the federal officer in order to clear out your name from these fortunate activities. Well, if you tell me what I have to do to cooperate, yes. See, what I'm see, sir, in order to find out the real culprit, I'm going to connect your line one of my senior officers who's handling who is handling your case and let them know that your identity has been stolen by okay. someone else. Yeah, tell them somebody okay. else did it. And I didn't do it. Yes, sir. We do believe, sir, because we have also check your past records. Right. And Except for that one that time in Reno, what, I'm I'm fine, yeah. We believe that whatever you're saying that whatever you're saying is it true. Yes. So let me go ahead and connect your line, one of my senior officers who's handling your case, and let them know that you are, you are not doing this kind of crime. I'll tell them. Okay? Okay? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. So c can you please write it down your case ID number? Nope. If I go ahead and transfer your line. What is it? So I want you to grab a pen and piece of paper. Okay, go ahead. I got one right here. I'm sitting at my desk. Okay. 70105. Seven. Oh, 105. That's right. 70105. Okay. okay, I got it. The alphabet start with the alphabet start with D like in dog, C like in cat. DC. PC 70105. That's right, sir. Okay. So 
that can go okay. ahead and connect your line one of my senior officer. Okay. Just talk to them, and they will, they will let you know what you have to do next. Okay. All right? Good. And you suspect your neighbor, right? Is yes, it, Igor, Igor, Igor Yakmia, Russian guy. Don't okay. trust him at all. Okay. okay. Built a fence. He built a fence. He built a fence right next just... to mine. He built a fence right next to mine. I had to whack him with a baseball bat. Okay. Then he calls the police on All right, sure. <laughs> Let, okay. me, let me connect your line. Thank you. Okay, bye. Just bear with me, sir. Just stay connected. I am. Thank you so much for holding this line. This is Officer Michelle Anderson from Office of the Inspector General. Okay. May I know whom I'm speaking with? Felix Decat. Felix Decat. You have any case ID number with you, sir? Yes. Can you verify the case ID? DC seven zero one zero five. Okay, and also, sir, can you please write down my name sure. and that you're speaking with Officer Michelle Anderson. Michelle Anderson. Okay, Michelle. And sir, I believe that the officer was speaking with you has explained you about the cases which has been registered onto your name. Yeah, something about Texas. Texas. There was a car in Texas. Somebody ran a car in Texas. I, I'm I'm not in Texas. Okay, sir. I'm in New York. About, sir, sir. Okay. The case which has been filed against you it is for drug trafficking and money laundering. There is an arrest warrant onto your name. We do have the authorization. To suspend your social as it has been found for many well, illegal that's activities. That's not right. How can that be? I'm I'm in New York. Yes, sir. If you are not the one who involved in this case, then it means someone has got your information, and they are doing all illegal told, activities I without told, your knowledge. I told the other fellow that I, my neighbor, Igor Yakmiov, he may he I don't trust him. And that's who I told him I suspected, because he's the only one I suspect. I don't think nobody else would do it. So, sir, apart from that, sir, someone has opened several bank accounts credit card onto your name. That's what the other guy there said. Has been many there has been many illegal wire transfers which has been done. There any, there, and were there internationally. Any, I wonder if there, there, were any of those transfers go to Russia? Can you check that? Yes, sir. Not they did? A, not only to that place. Oh. Not only to Russia. It's like Russia, Japan, Japan. and then Hong Kong, Hong Singapore. Kong. Holy cow. They're wiring yeah. money all over the place. Yes, yeah, all oh. over the place. Oh. For that reason, sir, we are having a hard time to differentiate that which You're having a hard time. belongs to okay. you. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, sir, if you want to get this case resolved, yes. the first thing that we need to do is that we have to get your case filed and the arrest warrant canceled. Well, oh, absolutely, and get after that arrest warrant social, canceled. Yes. After that, sir, your social will be suspended because you have been either. found for many... E well, I get Social Security. Michelle, I get Social Security, so what's that going to do to my Social Security? And do you have any bank onto your name or no? Bank? Yeah, I got a bank. First of all, sir, let me inform you, if you want to get this case resolved, the first thing that we need to do is that we have to get your case filed and the arrest warrant canceled. That's right, sir. Go ahead and cancel social... it. Yeah, it wasn't me, so cancel it. And then we can go from there. Okay, sir, but okay. see, it's not that easy, okay, oh. because there is an arrest warrant onto your name. Well, can't you get have canceled. to cancel the arrest warrant. Can't you cancel but, it? But, sir, first of all, see, sir, mm -hmm. hold on. Okay, okay. First okay. of all... Can you listen to me, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The first thing is that I'm going to fill up a form for your new social, but I will be asking you some questions regarding okay. your assets, and you have to verify the information with me so that we can differentiate which assets belong to you and which assets belong to the fraudulent people, okay? Okay. So my first question will be, the house which you're staying in, is it your own house or is it a real house? No, it's my own house. And do you have a car onto your name? Yes, I do. How many cars do you have I got one, your name? one car, 2017 Apache. Yes. Very good on gas. Okay. Now, sir, how many bank accounts are you having onto your name? I got two accounts in one bank. 
And see, uh, the federal agent will not try to get any police banking information over the phone from anyone. Make sure we are not asking you about your bank account number or routing number or any debit card number over the phone, okay? Okay. What I need to know is that, I just need to know that, what is the name of the bank that you are banking with? Kitty Bank. And you have a checking account and saving, right? Yes. Approximately, what is the balance you're having, like exactly or approximately in your checking account? You told me not to tell anybody. Sir, I said that I'm not asking you about your bank account number or routing number or any debit card number over the phone. I just need to know that in your checking account approximately or exactly what is the balance you're having. Oh, I got 500 in the checking. I'm sorry? 500 in the checking account at TT Bank. And what about the savings? 1200 probably. Okay, uh, also do you have any credit card onto your name? Yes, I have one credit card, a Visa. A Visa, is it with the same bank or just Citibank. a Visa credit oh, card? Oh yeah, I do all my business at Citibank. Bank. What is the credit limit? Uh, I think it's 6000 And what's the balance that you owe them? Zero. You don't owe them anything, right? I pay it off every month. Okay. Now, do you have any investment account like 401k, money marketing, IRA account, any type of investment like that or no? No, I don't have any of that stuff. And also, sir, verify your address. My address? Or the bank's address? Mm -hmm. huh? No, your home address. 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York, 13118. 13118? Yes. Okay. No, sir. Yes. I'm going to submit this information to the Treasury Department. No. And also, I would okay. like to inform you that... Okay. Hold on. Yes. In order to resolve okay. this case, there are two conditions, which is publicly and privately. Okay. So, I'll explain you the difference between public and private, and after that, you let me know what do you want to do, okay? Okay. So... If you want to resolve this case public, it means that we have to inform all the local authorities like the police department, the IRS, the SSA, your bank people, and the FBI. Also, this case has to be published in a local newspaper. So Why would you have to publish it in a local crafting. newspaper? I don't understand that. Well, well, Sir, why would you publish it in a local newspaper, ma'am? Sir, let me come, please. Okay. First of all, so let me go ahead. All right. May I know, sir, from what state you got your soul? What state? I got my what? Your social security number. New York State. I told the other guy that. New York State. The Empire State. Uh, sir, sir, the address which you verify your home address, can you verify it one more time? 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York. 13118. 13118. That's correct. Sure about that, sir? What do you mean? Of course I'm sure about that. That's where I live. 13118, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But so that address, I can see it is a um, postal service address. What? The address which you verify with me, it is a postal service address. United States Post Office. Right. That's where I get my mail. No, 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 sir. I'm asking about your home address. I'm not asking about your post office address. I'm asking about your home address. Oh, well, that's where I get my mail. I got a post office box. No, sir. Verify your home address. Oh, my home address is three, mm -hmm. 360 West 5th Street, Moravia, New York. Street? At 3360 West and then what? 5th. 5. 5th. Fifth Street. Fifth. Fifth. And and the uh, uh, zip code. One three one one eight. Okay. And so you have never been to the state of Texas. Never been there for the sixth time. I've never been to Texas. I don't know why, but the address which you left me it says that the address. It says it's wrong. At least you provided me with the. It says it's you provided wrong. me with the wrong address. I gave you, I live here, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the address. You don't understand? I'm uh, telling that the address which you verify with me, 
It's not a valid address, sir. You provided me with wrong information or what? No, it's my address, ma'am. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know where you're getting your information from, but I've lived here for 30 mm -hmm. years. And sir, what's your social? Can you verify one more time? I don't want to make any mistakes, sir. My so social? Can you verify your uh, social one more time? Yeah, mm -hmm. for the seventh time, it's 086 mm -hmm. 10 mm -hmm. 1463. Mm -hmm. 1463? Correct. Can you give me a moment, sir? Let me just check. Okay. Hello? Yes, hello. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you so much for holding this line. Uh, sir, before I go ahead and provide you with the information, as I told you that if you want to resolve this case publicly, it means we have to go public where we have to inform the IRS, the FBI, your local... Let me complete, okay? Please do not interrupt me in between. I'll give you a fair time to speak. I okay? didn't say anything. I'm telling you from... Okay? So let me just go ahead and let you know that if you want to do it publicly, sir, then this case has to be published in a local newspaper where we have to send a fax of the arrest warrant to your police department but they will come to your place and take you into custody. Each and every asset which you have will be seized by the government. That is public. And privately, it means that until and unless we cancel the arrest warrant until you get your social, you don't have to discuss or disclose the information to anyone, like your friends or your family members, people. Okay. As we don't know who is the culprit, it can be anyone who you. So by keeping it private, you are protecting yourself. If the culprit will come to know that we are trying to change your or uh, we are looking for them, they will run away from the situation. So you want to resolve the case publicly or privately? Well, let's go public. I like seeing my name in the newspaper. Okay, so then we are going to do it public. I'm sending okay. this information to yes. the Send local police department. And, and the Murray, yes, yes, the Murray, the Moravia Times. We are not able newspaper. to take your call right now. Goodbye. Call's over. Social Security Administration, can I help you? Yes, I was speaking with Michelle Anderson and we seem to have got disconnected. Okay, stay connected. Let me transfer the line to them. Okay. Thank okay? You. Thank you. Stay connected. I will. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, Michelle? Yes, sir. How we, can I help you? We got disconnected. No, I hung up on you. Why you hang up? You told up? me you want to do this case pop. You told me that you want to resolve this case publicly oh, I didn't because know. you want to see your name in a newspaper, right? Oh, what's that so mean? you go and deal with them directly and stop calling. I'm proceeding with the legal charges against you, okay? Hey, Rundy! Hey, Rundy! You're a scamming bastard. <laughs> and you're a son of a bitch, you're... fucking asshole. Fuck you. Oh, fuck me, huh? Oh, ho, ho. that's not nice, Rundy. We are not able to take your call right now. Goodbye.